Welcome to the T1 Minute. It's our second series on our quarterback training, and today we're going over shoulder prehab work. First exercise we're going to do today is a band cross pull. He's going to keep the band tight to his body. He's going to pull out and then open up. He's going to let it come back across his body. Everything we're doing today is geared towards shoulder prehab. And typically, we'll do two sets of 15 reps on every exercise, both sides of the body, not just his throwing arm. Good. Now we're gonna move to band external rotation. Elbows will be here. I wanna, I wanna retract that blade and keep it tight, and then he's gonna extend up each time, keeping that, that blade retracted. Trying to keep that elbow in place. Keep that band, keep that band some tension on it. And keep this blade retracted the whole time. Band internal rotation, same thing. Contract that blade, keep it compressed. And then he's gonna, he's gonna pull forward, keeping that elbow at a 90. Try not to rock it back. Everything we're doing, we're just trying to keep the shoulder strong and healthy. A lot of small muscles that don't get worked when you do pressing movements. And we're trying to work every small muscle in that whole shoulder complex. Good. Now we're moving on to wristband subscapular push-up. We take a mini band, we're going to fold it over, put it on his wrist, he's going to get in a push-up position, he's going to open up, and what it is, is the band's going to want to pull his, pull, pull his hands in tight. He's going to have to keep his blades pinched and decompressed to keep that band in place. He's going to keep his elbows in tight, knock out five, five push-ups. He's going to keep his blades retracted the whole time, and that band is keeping him in place. It's keeping the shoulders in line and keeping his blades retracted. All right, walkouts. It's the best sh shoulder stabilization exercise that I ever have any of my athletes do. All my Major League Baseball players, all my pitchers, all my, all my linemen for subluxions. It's gonna, he's going to have to stabilize this bar and keep it from moving while he's moving. So he's in a movement pattern stabilizing the bar. So press the bar up. He's going to keep his shoulders tight and his elbows tight. Eyes forward. He's going to take five steps backwards. A little bit bigger steps. As he's moving, the bar's wanting to travel. He's keeping his shoulders tight and elbows. Stop. Now he's going to come five steps forward. Keeping that bar from moving. Everything has to stabilize to keep the bar in place. Bring it down to your shoulders. Now we can do this with, with a barbell or dumbbell. Typically, we'll start with the bar and uh, we'll move our way up to some of our linemen at 225 pounds. With quarterbacks, we stay between 95 and, and 135. We're gonna build up some endurance in his shoulders for the fourth quarter, so he's still throwing as hard as he would be in the first quarter. This is a burn machine, it's a speed bag, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. We'll start out low, he's gonna hit it as quick as he can. Now he's gonna move up, straight out. Now he's going to go overhead, done. Pretty tough, huh? Yeah. 